Okay, so I finally got my tremolo pedal, my hand-built tremolo pedal to work. Found the plans online. Um, here's a schematic. I'll uh, put the link for where I got that schematic in the description. Um, finally got it to work. Uh, it took me about three days of just trying stuff. Um, haven't really had that much experience with building pedals, but um, worked out all the kinks, got it to work, works very well, sounds really nice, and I'm going to show you what it's like. So here we go, this is my, my test setup right here. Um, you can see I got my, my Dan Electro Honey Tone amp. Pretty fun little amp, takes a 9 volt battery, it doesn't sound like a uh, full stack by any stretch but it's certainly great for practicing <laughs> um, so that is plugged in with um, this breadboard here which as you can see the LED flashing right there is plugged in and next to it you can see the the case for the pedal um, that it will eventually fit into. I'm hoping there's not too much difficulty. So uh, yeah, so I'll show you what it sounds like. And hopefully you can hear it clearly enough. I'm not playing it very loud because it's kind of late. All right, so here's uh, just without the pedal on. I do notice a little bit of a squealing noise. I'm not too sure where that's coming from, but anyways, here it is without, without the pedal on. Switch it on carefully here. Quiet it right down. Okay, so this pedal has a depth control. Uh, see if we can demonstrate that. Right now it's kind of moderate. That's that's no depth. So it just sounds flat. It's almost like it's off. And this is full depth. smoother and this also has a speed control so that's the slowest speed that it can do go a little bit faster
faster. Almost too fast for, for music. It's kind of introduces some kind of a buzz there. Just barely back from that. It's almost like a slap back kind of, or not slap back, but like a. It's almost like a delay type effect, but it's still the tremolo. You increase the depth. Some interesting effects there. But overall, it sounds really good. I think. I mean, for, I don't know, I probably spent 40 so dollars building this, and I think it's well worth the, uh, well worth that investment. a really nice smooth which is really what I kind of made this for is that smooth uh, smooth kind of rolling tremolo So yeah, uh, I recommend you can go out and build one if you if you want. Um, I know I had a lot of fun building this one, and uh, hope to build some more pedals in the future. Now that I know a little bit more about building them, and it just takes a little bit of patience. Uh, like I said, it took me about three days to uh, to get this thing to work. Um, finally, does work. But uh, you know, it takes a little bit of patience. You gotta work through. I'm not, I'm not like a a big uh, electrical savvy guy. I just kind of do what I can. But but I got it to work. You know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of tips out online and and uh, places sites you can go to 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 get help on on how to hook things up. And, um. So yeah. I'm having a great time with this, so I hope to uh, hope to transfer all that onto this little pre-made PCB that I bought at Radio Shack, and uh, it's like two dollars for this PCB. You don't even have to etch it; it's already etched. So, and I just laid it out in AutoCAD here. This is um, the drawing. So I just have to kind of transfer all that stuff from the breadboard onto the PCB, and then that's going to get mounted inside the case. Um, that will be good to go. We'll have a nice uh, finished product. And uh, yeah.